Okay, so let me just show you how to put that in your calculators. Yeah, I'll post this if I can. There you go. So turn your calculator on. I'm going to show you how to do it for a TID-3. If you've got something different, then um, it's, it's going to be different. It's actually easier on my like TI-86, I've decided, but that's all right. So what we want to do is we want to find the, the button that says matrix. So it's right here. So go second matrix. And we want to edit. So go edit. And then I'm going to choose A to be the, the big matrix, right? So I'm going to go enter. And I don't want a two by two because that's for sissies. I want a five by five. All right. Okay. And I don't want some unmanly thing like 0.4695, right? So I'm going to go one, enter, negative one. Whoops. Enter, uh, negative one. Is it going to let me do that? And then zero and zero. Whoops. Did I just type one and one? Okay, so let's go up, uh, zero, and enter, zero, enter. There we go. Okay, so now the next row there is zero, zero, one, negative one, negative one. Okay, so zero, enter, uh, zero, enter, uh, negative one, enter, error syntax. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. I don't want to quit. No, no. Okay, second matrix. I was typing the wrong minus sign. I should have said click go to, right? All right. Okay, so let's see if I can get down there. There we go. So zero, 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 and then negative one. Enter. Negative one. I just learned something. Whoops. This guy's got to be one, right? This guy's negative one and negative one. All right. So now we're on the third row, eight, eleven, zero, 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 right? So eight, eleven, zero, zero, zero. And eight, zero, eight, twelve, zero. Eight, zero, eight, twelve, zero. Okay, the next one is eight zero eight zero eleven, right? Okay, now, wow. At this point, because I am a spaz and because I'm, <laughs> I'm a spaz, right? Um, check now. What I do is I do a column check, right? So I'm just checking that rightmost column is eleven zero zero negative one zero, and that looks like what I've got. Now let's do a column check here. That next column is 0, 12, 0, negative 1, 0. And that's what I seem to have. The next column is 8, 8, 0, 1, negative 1. And I seem to have that, yes? The next column is 0, 0, 11, 0, negative 1. I'm just going up the columns. And the next column is 8, 8, 8, 0, 1. Boy, I hope this works. <laughs> Are we good? Has everybody entered their matrix A? Yeah. Only faster than me, and like that's why. You, yeah. All right. Good enough. Okay. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, second matrix, and I'm going to edit, and I'm going to go down to B, and edit B, and a two by one is just way too wimpy for us. So we're now in physics two, and so we're going to do five by one. Yeah. And our answers are not a measly 0, 9.81. I mean, what, what is that, right? Okay, we're going to go 0 and 0 and 19 and 19 and 19, right? So now we just check that, double check at 19, 19, 19, 0, 0. Going up. Has everybody got their B matrix typed in? All right, and now this is the, this is the moment we've been all waiting for, right? Okay, so now I'm going to go, um, I'm going to quit, I guess. Right, and now I'm gonna pop. I guess I could could just go second matrix, right? Okay. Now we now we do the names things. So I go A. Right, and then I'm gonna invert A. So this number, which this little function here, which would just go like one over two if you had a two on there, actually inverts the matrix in this context, right? Which might not be a big deal to you, but that means that the TI programmers are using 
contextually dependent operators. Holy cow, that's a big thing in, in computer science. And then I'm going to go second matrix again, and I want to barf up B. So there it is. And this should be the answers. Boy, it did that faster. So typing it in, setting up the equations is what takes the time, right? And now the question is, do we have the right answers, right? Some of them have got to be right. Let's look at the... Um, Let's look at the sheet. So net example three, guys, listen, please. I'm looking at the answers that are on that sheet there. A1 is 1.346662. I'm guessing that that's that guy right there. It probably was, right? A1 was the current coming out of the battery. It is, yeah. And then A2, A2 is our, is our I2. And here I say it's 0.747882. There it is, right? Okay, 0.598779 is our A3, that's our I3, is it? Yes, it is. And then A4 is actually our I5, right? So those things agree. Now the question is, how do you get the readings on the meters? It's like, well... Here's a really big calculator now. It's scary. Oh, I'm a big calculator. I can't fit. In. Like all of you can't fit on the screen. I'm so. Yeah. Whoops. <laughs> that was a fail. Ah. I'm even bigger now. Okay. So uh, let me let me uh, quit recording this because. Cam Studio, I will now hit.